Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. The videos are thick and fast at the moment. I'm shaving every day again, face and head pretty much. I'm doing my head shaves every couple of days, but I'm going to do a everyday shave on the head when I feel like it. And I feel like once a day. Now, I've just watched a quick video on you on YouTube, on Facebook, from Douglas Smythe of Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. I can't remember Douglas's real name, but that is his make-believe name, his name for his company. Now, he's a very, very knowledgeable person with regards to shaving, whether you like him or not, he knows a lot about it. And he was talking about blooming. And I'll be honest, I was still under the impression that putting the hot water on top of the soap allowed the soap it allowed it to soften, which he called soaking, but it allowed the scent to come out because of the hot water. And that was the impression of my, in my head was the hot water on top of the soap allowed the scent to come out. So what I've done, and you'll see at the start of the video, I basically chucked my soap in the sink of hot water, which I filled up. It's look warm water now because I've had a shower but it's basically been sitting in that hot water the whole time that I've been, been in the shower. And the whole reason behind that is the heat from the water, heat up the tub of soap from the external side of it and allow the soap to be warmed up on the inside, which should in turn allow the soap scent to really come out. Now, it's certainly this way, for me, actually works quite well. Most tubs nowadays, like the Barrister, this is what I'm using today, is Terra, once again. I'm using this to get the full feel on my face of that cooling sensation. And all the labels on most of the soaps nowadays are waterproof or water resistant, whatever you want to call it. So you can chuck it in the water and not worry about it. There's enough on the actual lid itself in terms of the threading to keep the water out. It floats quite nicely on there. It actually gives quite a nice effect for a video and for a, for a picture as well if you want to photograph your soap blooming in the water, heating up in the water to allow the scent to release. So without further ado, I can't have a shave without getting one of the wife's hairs in my mouth. Duck my head in. Here we go. Now this tub is nice and warm now, very warm. Right through to the lid. And let's just see if it actually makes the scent stronger. It really does. I didn't have to stick my nose in there. Yeah. Now this isn't a super strong scent and it's the reason why I chose this one as well. To chuck in here and try this. And you can see the soap is bone dry. There's no water in that soap at all. But I can actually smell that, the, the cooling, I don't know whether he uses Coolada, is it Coolada? I don't know what, what his type of cooling is over at Barristan and Man, let me see if I can see if I can find it. I don't know what I'm looking for to be honest. I know it's in here. I don't know whether it's Tetrasodium EDTA, I think that might be it. I'm not 100% sure. It's nice and warm and the scent is definitely more robust. It's certainly coming out, I can really smell it. And to be honest, for the first time, I'm actually getting the peppermint note there now, which I wasn't really getting before. I, it still smells, to my nose, a little bit like a gin and tonic. So it could possibly be the fact that I drank a lot of gin and tonic, or gin and soda, when I was over in Canada. The brush for today, it's gonna to be my Wolf, Wolf Whiskers Purple Haze. Absolutely beautiful brush, not a single blemish on this brush handle at all. And this one has got the 25mm fan knot. Now this is one of Peter's original Black Bull fan knots I believe and it's absolutely superb and I'm not sure what his new fan knots are like. I heard some of them were good, some of them weren't so good but I don't think he can source these ones either. So I was very lucky when I got onto the Wolf Whiskers lists and, and ordered some brushes that I managed to get these knots when they were sort of in the pinnacle. You can see it, it's almost like gel tips. Now this is quite a dense knot, very very soft. So go straight into the Barrister and Man Terra. Now this soap base is the Excelsior base. This is Barrister and Man. In my opinion, Barrister and Man's elite soap base. They are releasing or re-releasing Fougere Gothique. And I can't remember the other one now. That's terrible. Memory's terrible. Through West Coast Shaving. And I'm quite excited about that. I do have Fougere Gothique in the den. And I also have the EDP now, which I haven't used yet. I'm saving really until I use the soap. It's a very robust, strong, pungent scent and it's not for everyone I can assure you there's some people out there will absolutely detest it my wife can't stand it but it's one of those ones that's just so nice to my nose personally that I just have to have it so I will wear it I'll more than likely wear it when I'm at work and kill the public while I'm at it rather than annoy the wife but very very unique scent Fougere Gothic right now this soap oh, yeah, I can really smell the peppermint now, that's amazing. 
I couldn't really smell peppermint before, I have to be honest. It smelled more like a citrus sort of, I couldn't quite put my finger on it, but a citrusy type scent with a little bit of sort of liminess to it. I don't know, but very, very nice. But that's what I got from it. So I'm going to wet my head. Now, of course, I've used that to bloom the silk to get the scent out. I'm still going to do a cold water shave. I will actually, do you know what? I'm using the head blade. Just wasted all that water for nothing. I'm using the head blade for my head shave. So I'm going to stick to the warm water for the sole reason. Here is the head blade. And it's the three blade cartridge. This is my last cartridge, believe it or not. I haven't got any more. I haven't ordered any yet. But it has pretty much no rinse through it at all. You can't rinse this blade out. It's, it's absolutely shocking. And it's the main reason why I don't like these three blade carts. They're, they're just not great for, for rinseability. Right, so I'm going to wet my head. I have got one day's growth on my head and face. And here we go, let's paint this on. Is there any soap in the tub that I might as well scoop out? Why not? Here we go. Now the good thing about blooming the soap like that is it doesn't soften the soap up. It leaves it the same firmness as it does whenever it's just cold, just straight out of the drawer. But the scent is definitely stronger. It's filled the bathroom up. And this isn't a super strong scent. It's a mid, sort of mid-strength, around about a five out of 10. The scent itself is lovely. I really enjoy it. Even though I'm getting more peppermint now, I'm really smelling that peppermint. Which will obviously add to the cooling sensation of the synthetic cooling agent. The peppermint does generally give its own sort of cooling to things. Minty scents generally do. I think a lot of it's, although they do cool down anyway, but I think a lot of it's just to do with your nose. You smell it and you think, oh, that smells nice and cool. You sort of associate minty smells with, with cool sensations anyway, because most of the popular chewing gums in the world are mint. Mints generally taste like mint. Although nowadays it's quite hard to buy a packet of mints that taste like mint. They normally taste like fruit, full of artificial flavouring. Which sort of defeats the purpose. I've always seen mints as a, a breath freshener. Same with chewing gum and obviously some chewing gums are good for your dental health hygiene as well. This ladder, honestly, is absolutely superb. Now, I know this will be wasting soap, but well, I don't know. I might keep the same load in the brush and just re add to it when I get to the face shape part. Just add some more water. Very, very thirsty soap. And don't be afraid to add water to it. Quite a strange sensation, I have to say. I'm feeling the warmth from the warm water, but it's really cold underneath, so it sort of clashes. This lather is absolutely exceptional. It makes such a dense, heavy lather. And I think Rudd's over at Rudd's Shave, he described it as a, as a low density lather. I don't, I think this is. This is super, it really builds a really thick, creamy, voluminous ladder. And Rudd's is one of those guys that does get a good ladder going. I mean that is just exceptional. And then just literally, let's pull it back. This brush feels absolutely divine. Look at that, put the gloss on there. Whew. Absolutely delicious. And I can really smell that peppermint now, something I couldn't smell before. I'm not saying the blooming's done it, it could be that I'm just smelling more now, having read and heard reviews on it. I can smell the peppermint. It's probably the most prominent scent in the soap now. The head blade. Moto, three blade cartridge, plastic. I no longer have the stainless one, I sold that. Passed that on, excuse me. Quite a discounted rate, but it's gone. I've only got the plastic one now. 
I did find the metal one was nice, it shaved well, but I found it just a slightly different angle. I find this little plastic do that just to be a much better angle. And here we go, straight against the grain. Brand new three blade cartridge. I've also been having a little bit of, well not to and froing, I've been emailed by John Harris over at Omnishaver and he was just asking about a comment where I basically said that it was 50-50 for me on Omnishaver. My prototype, which I still have and I still use, I use it off camera, it's probably up around between 50 and 80 shaves now and it still shaves really well. I don't get any real irritation from it or anything even though it's done so much. But the, pro the full production one I was sent, I've just been made aware, actually had a different blade gap. Not blade gap, blade angle. Blade angle was different to the prototype. Now I wasn't made aware of that until yesterday. And it was a bit of a surprise really because the prototype shaved so well for me. And still does. It's not as good as it was the day I got it. But it still shaves very, very well. And definitely, if I were able to say you could get that prototype, I would recommend it, highly recommend it. I think it's a great razor. It's very small, it's very compact. I have now just noticed that you can replace the cartridges in it now. Rather than purchasing a full razor, you can just pop out the old ones and bang in two new ones and away you go again, brand new razor. So this technology moving forward is getting better. And I did explain to John that because I don't review things that I get given for free or that people send to me to review or people just send me them out of the niceness of the heart and they don't care whether I review it or not. It's, I don't do it to get any more stuff. You know, if it works, it bloody works, I'll tell you. If it doesn't work, I'll tell you. The prototype really worked. It still really works. It's a great, it's a great head shaving tool. It's very compact. You can take it with you on holiday. It doesn't take up much room. It comes with a little, you can get a little case for it so you can air it out when you're on holiday without having to worry about the blades getting damaged in your suitcase or in your dog bag. It's a tremendous little razor. But something happened between that prototype and the production one in terms of the angle of the blades due to people saying it was giving them irritation. And unfortunately, it changed to the point where I personally couldn't use it. I used it several times off camera. I used it, I think I only tried it once. I might have tried it twice on camera. Now, I removed the videos relating to it because I sent the, the razor back to John. They tested it, they used it, and it worked absolutely fine with the test it and everything that was there. So, in sort of fairness to them, they went above and beyond to, to show me that it was actually shaving well and it shaves fine for that person. So, the options we had were leave my video up and basically put it down to the subjective nature of shaving. However, I decided to take it down. John's a really nice guy. And being a small business owner myself and having own cafes and stuff like that, it's all a learning curve. And my whole thing is not to try and push people away from purchasing people's products. It's just to give my personal feedback, my own view on a product based on my personal use. And on the upside for John, I still use my prototype. It still gives me amazing shaves. I still get BBS every time. It's the same cartridges, same 10 blades that have been in it since the day that I first used it. It's done between 50 and 80 shaves. I, I was counting at one point and I just gave up because I thought, well, what's the point counting over 50? So it would already pay for itself had, it, had I purchased it. So there's no point in actually keeping a tally now. It's a tremendous little shaver. It does exactly what it says on the tin. It gives you a great close shave. And to be fair, it's pretty fast. So it's not something that I would say don't go and buy because at the end of the day, independent reviews and stuff on Only Shaver, if you go on the web, there's always bad reviews for everything, doesn't matter where you go. But on the whole, 
it's a sort of four, four to four and a half star rating. So people are enjoying it. And it's obviously people that have got different hair types than me, different skin type. I can't blame the, the shaving soap or anything like that because the products that I use are very high quality. They're all the best of the best in general. Now he also sent me a couple of bottles of this stuff, shave butter, which once again, it's not a, it's not a, a terrible product, but it, well, it gunks up your razor. And when you're using a cartridge razor, that's kind of important that you don't want to clog it all up because it doesn't melt in the water, really. it just sort of floats around like grease, like a moisturizer. Really. But it's also a very good product. My wife uses it pretty much every day for her head and her, for her, head and her face. <laughs> But putting on a face just as an actual moisturizer because it's very good stuff. Oh, the head blade's a beast. <laughs> so that's a BBS head shave, a very quick BBS head shave with no irritation, no cuts, no bumps, no nicks, no nothing. Super, absolutely brilliant. And yes, the three blade cartridge does work very, very well. It just clogs up a lot. It doesn't last very long. And it's pretty much for daily shaves. I could use that every day and I would probably get away with it a lot easier. Right, let's move on to the face shave, which I'm going to make a cold water shave. So we'll switch to cold water. Splash that on. As you can see, I've got cold sores here. I've got cold sores on here. I'm just, I feel run down again. I'm, I'm on eight days straight now. So I'm going to be pretty tired at the end of that, but I do have sort of five days off after that. But I want to try and rest a little bit in it if I can. Otherwise, I'm just going to burn myself out completely. Right, I'm just going to get stuck in with the brush as it was. I think there's enough soap in this brush now to, to give me... Look, look at this, look. Look, freaking women. Right, let's go scoop that on there right now. This brush is like a little cloud. some water. And again. Now this is the same load from my head. I haven't had any more soap. Really feeling a cooling sensation, believe it or not, on the cold sores and on my lips. Everywhere else, not so much yet. A little bit on my neck. Now, this is meant to be extremely cold, as the label says right there. Caution extremely cold, keep away from eyes and anything else you would prefer not to freeze. Now, I have had this in my eye, not the soap. I've had the splash in my eye and it's really unpleasant, so I highly recommend you don't get it in your eyes. Just adding more water. This is really showing you how high quality this soap is and how far it goes on one load. You can see down here just how thick it's getting. Just going to add some more water again. Will over at Barrister Man stated that you really have to get this loaded up with water in order for the cooling agent to really set in and do its job and get a feel for it. And again, oh, this is incredible. I've done a full head shave with the same load so far and the silk just doesn't want to stop growing. Of course, you do not need this mouth lather. I'm really taking this to the extremes here. You can see down there, 
Absolutely sensational. Honestly, I can't can't talk this base up enough. I think it's definitely my number one. I'm definitely with Rudd's on this. This is my number one soul base now. I absolutely love this stuff. Whether it's Terra, Sahirian, what's the other one? East Egg, all Excelsior base, all top notch. Right, the razor once again is going to be my car, Christopher Bradley razor with the B plate once again three and a half inch Argyle handle. But I'm gonna pop one of these in. One of my subscribers, Brandon, has said that he used this in his car razor and it was exceptional. And he struggles with it in other razors. Well, I said exceptional, I said it was really good. Now, Voskods were one of my favorite go-to blades when I started wet shaving three years ago. Traditional wet shaving. I have, so, however, come to really load them and not enjoy using them as they're not very sharp. Now, what I have found with these before is that if you actually managed to get through the first couple of passes, they generally do tend to soften up and smoothen up a bit. Now, it's quite a thick blade. I know that doesn't really show much, but it's not got a lot of, it's not as flexible as like a feather. Feathers are very thin. Gillette super thin is a thin. This is quite thick, almost a bit like a Kai blade. You can feel the difference in the thickness of the blade. That is the packaging, it comes double wrapped. There's no glue on it, which is a massive bonus, huge bonus, unlike substitute blade that I've got sitting here, which is a Gillette Nasset, covered in glue dots, glue bumps. So let's get this loaded up. Boss God. So we'll get that into the razor. Really feeling the cooling sensation on my cheeks now, but it's not, as I say, at the moment it's not extreme. It's beautifully cold, really, really nice. It's about 25 degrees over here today. It is winter, but it's still very warm. And here we go. What happened there? What's cutting here? I can't feel it cutting in here. I can sort of hear it cutting here. <laughs> Cutting in here? That feels really strange. I can't actually feel it cutting the hair at all. Someone actually mentioned yesterday. I would say it's sort of it's cutting, it's definitely cutting. It feels like someone mentioned that the first pass yesterday looked like it did nothing, like the blade was shit. And I have to say, that's a bit like what this feels like. Okay, so, so far, it feels very, very smooth. Now, I do have an unfortunate affliction. I think that's the word I'm looking for. Whereby, even after a shave, I still look like I need a shave. This is really smooth. Feels, and I have to be honest here, it feels like I haven't got a blade in here. It's definitely, it's definitely taking it down. I can feel a difference. Yep. But it's almost like I, I can't feel it. It's really strange. Right, a little bit of cold water. Yeah, definitely feeling that cooling sensation. But once again, it's not extreme. 
This is nothing like Arctic from Barrister and Man. It's nothing like Chisel Face, Cryogen, Sterling, Glacier Wintergreen. But let's see how it is on the second application because this is when sometimes the cooling soaps really hit you. What I will say is it's a different cooling sensation. It doesn't feel like menthol. There's no real burn with it. Well, there isn't a burn with it. It's just intensely cold. But it's not extreme. I think if you like a little bit of menthol, if you like something like snake bite, you'll get away with this. The splash might be a different story now that I'm doing my whole face. This ladder is truly exceptional. Really easy to work with, really glossy, creamy, dense, and definitely voluminous. So here we go across the grid. It's actually making me wonder if I've had some dodgy batches of boss cords because this blade is super smooth. Like it's not, it doesn't feel as sharp as like the Gillette blades, but in terms of smoothness, wow. But what it does highlight to me, it could be this razor that's making it amazing, that they've got some quality control issues if it's not the razor. I've still got about 50 or so of these blades, maybe more. But they haven't, the last sort of four or five goes with the boss cord, haven't been anywhere near this. This doesn't feel really any too different to the good Gillette blades that I use, that I really enjoy using. Definitely not. It's not extremely cold. I was a bit worried that I had undersold it and people were buying it thinking it wasn't. And then getting in it was whoa, freezing, but it's not. I like menthol. I love the extremely cooling shaves that menthol gives, especially in the summer. This will give you a perfect shave. The thing with this is, it doesn't burn your skin. It doesn't actually cause an irritation to your skin as menthol can. Menthol does burn my skin, there's no doubt about it, if it's really extremely mentally. Right, cross the grain another way.
but it's giving a very close shave. Like it's not really any different. I'm actually able to go against the grain quite a little bit these days, surprisingly. Shouldn't really be doing that, let's just put a bit of lather on. So, for those of you out there that aren't quite sure how this type of shaving works, it's not about getting a BBS shave or a perfect shave after one round. It's about reduction, it's about reducing the beard and the growth on each subsequent pass until you get a satisfactory result for yourself. So what I will say about this type of cooling sensation is that it hangs around and I do like that about it. Menthol soaps are cold, you wash it off, a minute or two later the menthol cooling sensation is generally gone. You then put on a mentholated splash that then lasts for a few minutes. The mentholation, five to ten minutes maximum maybe with a glacial from Sterling and then the cooling sensation is gone. Now I can walk away now, I know the barrister man excels for days is moisturising enough that I don't need a balm or a splash but the cooling sensation in my face could last anywhere from 20 minutes to 5 hours if I put the splash on it lasts me a whole shift especially if you get wet so if it rains and a bit of water goes on where you've actually got the cooling the menthol stuff, the cooling agent it will reactivate and it will cool, you, it will cool down again straight away and that's where the issue comes with it getting in your eyes because obviously living in Australia it's very hot in the summer very hot, 40 degrees a lot of the time and high 30s Celsius or centigrade, whatever you want to call it and it's all good and well, great use a cooling soap, it cools you down, you feel great, it feels nice and chilled and it does keep you from sweating so much when you go outside and your skin's nice and cool on your face and your neck but with this stuff, if I do a head shave and I get to the point I'm so hot and I start sweating and it goes down into my eyes it burns, it really burns your eyes it is not pleasant at all to get in your eyes so it's just something to bear in mind if you do a job where you do sweat a lot you know if you're a boiler maker and you've got a big protective face mask on and you're sweating away and it's running down into your eyes be prepared for pain it does go away, it doesn't damage your eyes I have to say it's not like it's got to the point where I can't see or it's burning to that point but it, it gets to the point where it's very similar to pepper spray where you can't open your eye and it really burns so it's just something to bear in mind if you do a job where you sweat and you shave your head and there's a chance of it going down I know when I use the splash I've got to really rinse and wash my hands afterwards because getting it on my hands later on sometimes you just go oh just an itchy eye and boom before you know it you're in a world of hurt seriously it's not pleasant at all so with that said and done Barrister and Man Terror Terra, caution, extremely cold. This is the splash. The scent is absolutely delicious. To me, I, I'm not, I don't get much peppermint from the splash, which is nice. I get more of a sort of citrus hit from it, if I'm honest. I don't know where that came from, but I'll liquid here. So, a good splash of this on my head. Straight away, cooling sensation. And that is it absorbed pretty much. Yeah, getting peppermint now, smell the pit. It's funny how listening to other people you can smell the notes that they're talking about because my nose is just my nose, whatever I smell, I say. I can really smell the peppermint now that I put it on my hands. Now, just I just want to touch on before I put it on my face the post shave feel from Barrister and Man Excelsior 
is what Rudge would say elite. It is absolutely the top of the top of the top. It is so moisturised. I don't need a splash. I don't definitely don't need a balm. I don't need anything on my skin right now. However, I'm going to put this on because I, I love it. And this is one, I really enjoy the scent of Terra. I think Will puts pretty much the perfect amount of the cooling sensation into the soaps and into the splash. Now, I don't know how this actually works, to be honest. I don't know whether putting more of this cooling sensation in intensifies the cooling sensation. Is it just about putting the same amount into Because to be fair, it, it doesn't feel a whole heap different to Noble Otter Orbit in terms of its coldness. Orbit is quite a cooling soap and it's quite a cooling splash. This one's probably just a little bit more, it might be a different type of product, a different cooling, synthetic cooling agent that Will over at Barrister their man uses. But it's very cold now, it's not extremely cold, it is not unbearably cold, it is not uncomfortably cold. It's a very, very nice cooling sensation which far succeeds and surpasses the mentally cooling sensation in my opinion. Because right now, my head and face feel really cold, but they're not burning, I'm not on fire, I'm not struggling, I'm not inhaling menthol fumes, my eyes aren't watering. It's a massive, massive bonus if you want that cooling sensation without all that sort of pain and anguish and strife, which I actually enjoy, surprisingly, but I don't have it with this. It's just cold, feels great, smells great, works great. So the soap for today was Terra from Barrister Man. Beautiful labels, along with sort of Talon Steel, the best labeling on the, on the market at the moment. Everyone else isn't far behind. I mean, if you look at Ariana and Evans, lovely labels, but they just don't have that finesse and quality. Even the tubs from Barrister and Man are high quality. They are plastic. They're definitely reusable because they are so solid. It's a bit of a shame. I mean, it'd be great if you had the option in every country to just send the, the empty tub back and get it refilled and save on the, the wastage of the plastic because these tubs are awesome. They're so solid. Like you, can, you can hardly even bend them. And I, I'd assume they're pretty expensive as well compared to some of the cheaper tubs. The brush for today was none other than my Wolf Whiskers Purple Haze 25mm Black Wolf Fan Knot. It's a sensational brush, it's one of my favourites, if not, you know, this, I've got some real beautiful brushes these days, but all round, just the colour scheme, the handle feel, and the knot, it's probably my favourite brush in the den, for synthetics at least. I still don't know if it's better than my Grizzly Bay Fan Knot. Um, and it was Timothy, I can't remember his surname now, but it was Tim, Tim that sent me that brush. Thanks very much, Tim. Excuse me, and thanks to Brandon for recommending the Voss cord and the Carv, which is here, the Carv Christopher Bradley razor, which performed, honestly, that first, whole first pass, it didn't feel like it cut anything. And it probably didn't, but I've got to the point where I was yesterday with a full face shave that's really close, really comfortable, with very minimal irritation. I've got a couple of little red splotches here. That's about it, other than the cold stores, everything else looks and feels great. Uh, even under here, my chin's nice and close, I'm sort of BBS here, which is something a little bit different for me. I'm trying to do a little bit more than what I normally do because it looks like my skin's taking it a bit easier at the moment. The head blade motto for the head shave, and there's not much more you can say about them. If you want to try one of the best head shaving races on the market, the head blade is it. If you can get hold of a prototype Omni Shaver, give it a go, it's a really good product. But until something happens with the blade angles or something like that, it's not going to be a razor for me and it's not going to be a razor I can recommend to people because at the end of the day, my name is sort of slapped all over that. The amount of subscribers I've got now, if I could put something out there that's, that I say is good and it's not, then I'm sort of lying to everyone and people spend their hard-earned cash and get a product that doesn't work. might work, but it doesn't work for me. The new one, the production model. And I finished off today with Barrister and Man Terra Splash, which... Right now, my face is as cold as it was the moment I put it on, and that's the, the beauty of this cooling cooling agent, this synthetic cooling agent, is that it constantly keeps your skin cool. In the hot, hot days, 30, 40 degrees, I can't wait to use this and see what sort of, see if it changes the, the quality of my comfort in the very hot weather. See if it keeps me that little bit cooler when I need it. Because when I sweat in the hot weather, it's going to activate this cooling agent all the time. So. I haven't experienced that yet, so it's going to be interesting to see if it keeps me cooler, or feeling cooler at least, so I'm not sweating all over quite as bad. You do find if you cool your neck down and it's really hot, it keeps the rest of your body 
temperature a little bit cooler as well so even though this is a synthetic feeling it's an actual sensation it might help a little bit to make you feel that a little bit cooler on the hot days and with that being said i have rattled on a lot of rubbish in this last sort of 10 15 minutes so you guys stay safe drive safe don't drink and drive bloom your soaps correctly and soak them correctly or whatever whatever douglas said about them is it soaking yeah soaking i think it was to soften up those hard soaps but if you want to bloom it use some heat use a scuttle drop it in the water like i did put it inside the ziplock bag and put it in the water it makes a difference it does it actually opens up the scent a little bit and gives you a bit more especially with a lighter scent like this and really gives it a bit more robustness so stay safe drive safe don't drink and drive again and i'll catch you guys next time cheers